it's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon or something i'm not really sure i haven't really done much all day slept in quite a lot because with the sun being so bright at night time you just kind of lose all sense of time and it's three o'clock in the morning but it's so sunny you don't realize so you're just kind of out doing stuff all the time uh and then consequently you're then tired as fuck in the morning so you have to sleep in until 11 or 12 or something um but this is quite a nice little spot here from where i was last night I'm just kind of sat here editing some of the vlog and uh, thinking about making some lunch also i haven't had a shower since like thursday morning and it's now monday morning afternoon so i think i'm gonna go buy some shampoo and some shower gel and find like a campsite or something that will let me use their shower because you know i mean you can i've been washing in the sea and stuff every day but uh my hair is all like salty and kind of weird so uh i think it'd be good to get a shower today i also need to do something about this mess jeez To a pretty well known hike, uh, it's called Rain of Ringen. It's one I've done before, and it's probably the most photographed uh, hike that pretty much everybody does. And it shows a super nice view over the, the town Rainer below. However, the weather is kind of like it could go either way. I mean, the sun is there, obviously, obviously, the sun's there, it's never not there, uh, but it looks like it's going to get real cloudy, uh, and this could either give us some super nice kind of views as the as the sun kind of picks its way through the cloud or it will be a total white out and won't be able to see anything uh, so we'll see so the weather's still like really mixed it's kind of cool though uh, looking out to see the sky is really nice but where the sun is, which is the other side of the mountain, it's not so nice. But uh, I'm here now, so we'll do it anyway, and we'll see what it's like. super windy probably can't really hear anything and that the sun is kind of teasing me through the clouds but really i probably haven't got a chance of seeing it so it's uh it's midnight at the moment i've just come down from the rain to bring and hike hence the slightly flushed parent um but all of the tourists come here in the motorhomes and caravans and stuff and spend all their day shuffling around the island, ten islands, island, the area at 10am, 11am, 
you know, in the daytime when I'm sleeping. Really. And it is so much better at this time of day. The light's better, always. Even when the weather's not so good, the light is better. And it's just silent, there's nobody here. It's much better to kind of sleep in, get some shy, and spend your spend your time in the in the midnight sun. It's much better. Even though actually over there, it kind of looks like the end of the earth at the moment. But yeah, this is a much better time of day to be doing stuff. The next day. Weather's pretty rubbish today. Um, it wasn't so bad this morning, but it's kind of quite gray and overcast and the clouds have come like down into the mountains. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna do, this is a little hike not far from where I am now. I'm gonna fly up there and have a look and see what that's like. One super distinctive thing that you can pick up on when driving around the north of Norway is the smell of fish and it's because of these there are thousands hundreds of thousands of fish heads drying on drying racks all over the islands uh, fishing is a big source of the economy here I suppose second only to tourism um, and they are everywhere and they are gross dried fish is actually pretty nice uh, and it's a very good source of protein as well uh, it's like 97% protein or 99% protein or something. It's just a bit dry, obviously. For some reason, I don't know why, uh, I feel like absolute trash all of a sudden. Uh, so I'm going to find somewhere to park for the night. It's currently, there's no clock in here, it's about 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock something. Um, make loads of food and eat all of it and go to sleep and hopefully I'll be fine when I wake up. The more you know who you are and what you want, so I just made uh, pasta and some meat and some vegetables and stuff. Just made way too much pasta as always. There's no one else here, so I'll have it for breakfast in the morning. Um, one thing I have noticed, so this is the first time I've done any like, I said cooking, not, you know, cooking the burger in the van. And uh, there definitely needs to be some improvements on um, the cooking situation. I have this cheap uh, Bill Temer gas stove, which sucks, and then a little camping stove, which is actually much better. Either way, um, none of them are particularly effective for cooking inside. Uh, it's also quite a small space, so it's much preferable, much more preferable to cook outside. However, where I am currently, there are like these little midges, like the little mosquito, tiny little things everywhere. And they were driving me crazy. So I moved back inside along with most of them as well, it seems. Um, but yeah, we'll have to maybe troubleshoot a little bit on how we can make it a bit better. Mm -hmm. 